Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. <clears throat> now for something entirely different. I have the Tarot of the Secret Forest. So this is a low Scarabeo deck. Again, one of the ones that I got while I was in Tulsa. Okay. I expect it will be nothing like um, a Gran Tarot Esoterico. It will be a completely different kind of thing. Ooh, look at this. It says, my garden forest isn't cultivated. It's not well tended. I don't have the courage to cut that tangle of brambles. I don't want to change anything. Wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. So this is Lucia Mat mm, Mattioli. Each arcanum is portrayed twice, in color on the front and in black and white on the back. Two sides that give the tarot a new dimension. Ooh. <clears throat> I think this is something that caught me when I was in the store. As I recall, this tarot traces a path to the heart hidden in nature, a magical place that could be found in the soul of each of us. Beautiful, wow. Okay, more plastic on the inside. Okay. This just says Tarot of the Secret Forest in all of the languages. I do love that about um, Los Scarabeo, actually. Okay, so, ooh, okay, so we have all of this color here on the front. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Terosophy. Huh. Interesting. Tarotassociation.net. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Didn't know about that. I'd probably come across that somewhere and didn't pay attention last time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Okay, so let's see. What does it look like on the back? Ah, oh my gosh. Look at this. That is so neat. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can tell we're going to be doing a double-sided walkthrough. So we'll look at it. We'll look at each side. I've never encountered with that before. First time. Okay, so this is our fool which is a fairy. And there it is in black and white. I actually am finding it's easier to look at this side than it is to look at this side. Okay. Magician. Oh, nice infinity there with that plant. Okay. Fascinating concept. Okay, so High Priestess. That's very interesting. It's very different on the black and white side. Some of these are really, they're kind of deviating a, a fair bit here on from one side to the next. So here she's sitting on something that we can see is kind of large and there's the scroll. And when we flip it, she's, I'm wondering what that's about. I wonder if there's anything in the book because she's holding a different, a different staff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is very different. Okay, wings are totally different. So what does she want to say to us about that? Um... Okay, so here's we, we've got, she says here about combined reading. There's some info here. Um, let's see, the cards are shuffled, even turning some of them over so that the two different sides become mixed up. 
After laying them out on the table, some cards will therefore appear with their colored sides up and others with their monochromatic sides up. This method gives different importance to the meanings of the cards that appear colored and monochromatic. For example, the colored cards can represent energies or situations connected with the emotions, while the monochromatic cards indicate energies or situations and situations connected with the intellect and rationality. Hmm. Or the colored cards can describe conscious aspects, while the monochromatic ones describe unconscious aspects. Or the colored cards can describe the current situations or behavior, while the monochromatic cards describe potential, still dormant behavior. Okay, so I just read through the whole beginning part of, um, of her blurb. I, I did scan it pretty relatively quickly. There's really no um, information here. I mean, she does say to work basically with instinct but she really does not address uh, any changes or differences in the cards from the black side, black and white side to the color side, which is interesting. Okay. So the three, that's the Empress. Yep. Some differences there too. Very curious Emperor. Hierophant, okay, the lovers, oh, that's delightful, oh, that's really sweet, no, chariot, kind of like the chariot, Hmm. Okay, so this one's clearly strength. She's battling a beetle. Okay, oh, that's wonderful. That's the hermit. Oh, that's delightful. Something about the art style when it's in color is it really reminds me of John Bauer on the John Bauer Tarot, which I also have. Okay, 10 is Wheel of Fortune, that's interesting. Okay, oh, right back side. Oh, I missed that. So there's a cocoon and the caterpillar, a caterpillar coming out of the cocoon. Oop, I'm being, I'm being asked to play with a toy. You got that toy? Come here, gotta keep a toy. Ready? Go get a toy. Okay. Justice. All right. Oh, and there are some scales. Not easy to see all the detail in these cards. You do kind of have to. You have to look closely. It'll 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 ask you to concentrate. Um, hanged person. Interesting. Ooh, she's been pinned. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh my gosh, I missed that in the first one. Oh, that's awful. Wow, okay. Okay, there's death. Oh, with a death's head moth on the back. Interesting, okay. Temperance. Mm hmm Devil. That's marvelous looking devil. Wow. Scarier on this side actually. Okay, you want that you want me to throw that toy again? You're gonna get stuffing all over mama's room in here. And all over Ooh, the tower. So yeah, burning in this case, if you're a fairy, it'll burn your wings. It'll take your wings away. The lightning strikes and knocks you down. Yeah. Interesting how we just get the figure falling, but we don't... Kind of don't need the tower conceptually there. Okay, the star. 
Okay. Hmm, the moon. <laughs> like how they're just gazing at the moon there. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, wow, the sun. Different on both sides. Here they're towards each other. See, I, if you're gonna do that, and you're gonna, you know, I'm, I'm just artistically speaking, and conceptually speaking, why, you know, I'm just curious, why, why make those changes to cards and then not address them, right? Like, why would you not address that? Or, or you know, or make it consistent. Okay, so judgment. I, I, I'm irritated. <laughs> That's irritating to me. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just like, why? I don't know. That, that really annoys me when I look at a deck and there's something like that that's interesting. There's like a, this is a fascinating device to use, you know, to, to have them be double-sided. But then if you're going to change them that much and change the symbolism, why would you do that and either A, not address it or B, not address it or, you know, not be consistent about it so that we're seeing, you know, really important detail on the backs that's missing in the, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't understand. That's weird. That's weird to me. I'm irritated by that. Anyway, I'll get over it. All right. Okay, here's the world. Yeah, I mean, nothing significant there. I don't know. All right, so Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Wow, beautiful line drawing there. Totally different type of Lotus. You know, totally different art style, but it's gorgeous. I, that's so beautiful. Hmm. Okay, two of cups. Totally different. Doing something very different here. There's a wand holding that light there on this one. And not this one. The body posture is different. And I don't understand why this is the two of cups. All right, three. Really don't understand why this is the three of cups. I mean, are these, are we, you know, is, oh Lord, is this a, is this a curated deck? Are we looking at a curated deck where we are just, piled things together and oh that's cool looking um and made them function together or all right I'm back this time with fruit I had to take a break all right <clears throat> uh. oh lots of sun all right let's see well, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, um, except to maybe hold cards here. All right, so Four of Cups, with no discernible characters, and just, I mean, okay. 
The thing is, I just don't have any trust that this is a person who, or that this is an artist or creator who has the knowledge to know the, the know what choices they're making. Um, and that bothers me. So that's an interesting choice for Five of Cups with the rift between them and the broken thread. So that could be a breakup card. Okay, Six of Cups. That is just, see what, like a six, I, this just doesn't, I don't know where they're coming from. There's no, there's, no, you know, if, if an artist wants to make a different choice, I'm okay with that. I just want to know where they're coming from and why they made that choice. And there's nothing here to help me understand that. And this is not a Six of Cups as we know it in any deck. You know, that's more like a five. I don't know. Or a sword card. I, I mean, okay, this makes no sense. <laughs> this just makes no sense at all. <laughs> Um, it's like an artist said, oh, I have all of this artwork. I know. I'll turn it into a tarot deck because that's a thing now. Um, it really does kind of make me want to research this person's work. Oh, that's kind of interesting, though. This Eight of Cups has a face right there. I don't know how visible it is. Let's see what they did on the back. Oh, it's a little more visible. Nothing like the Eight of Cups as we know it. Seven of Cups, or Nine of Cups, sorry. This is a very loose interpretation, but I suppose we could say that yes, there's some, it bears some resemblance to a Nine of Cups. I don't know. Okay, the, there's, this is not, the, there's nothing about this that says Ten of Cups. It's just not. It's beautiful, but it, it's not, a, it's not, the Ten of Cups, you know, in, in any, in any tradition. All right. So that's our page. And the knight. Fair enough. The knight's riding a fish. I get that. Queen, King. Okay, now we're in a totally different, like, we're in the realm of humans at this point. This is not Faye. This is not Faye anymore. That's human. And then, you know, because we're going from Faye to human you know, we're not, we're losing something there because then what we're gaining. So then there becomes, you know, there's instantly a commentary, at least for me, that we're, you know, there's something to be gained by being human that's lost by being fey or I don't know. I mean, I'm just, this is no, it makes it just makes so little sense to me. All right, now we're into pentacles. I really, I don't know quite what it is we're looking at. Maybe it'll be clear this. Okay, it is a caterpillar holding a rock or something on its head and body. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite get that. The Two of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, again, I don't know what it is we're looking at. This is very ethereal looking, like we're looking at two different types of beings or they're reaching through some kind of a veil. Um, but that has nothing to do with Earth. Or pentacles if I'm wrong if you see something I don't please say so in the comments I'm curious um, yeah I mean this is 
you just can't read. I mean, you can read this. Is it readable? Of course. It's absolutely readable. Um, I could get all kinds of messages from this. I will not get the Three of Pentacles from this. Um, but I could get other things. You know, as an or as an oracular system, this might work. Um, you know, I might be able to get some Four of Pentacles from this. But it's going to be literally with a very dark um, meaning to it. All right, that one's close. I mean, there's something in there for us. Okay, these, this to me looks like, okay, I guess it's supposed to be a snake. This looks fiery to me. This doesn't look like a five of pence. It looks more like a, I mean, it looks more like wands or, or fire, um, cause that could almost be like a fire salamander. But again, no, it doesn't bear any resemblance to a five of pentacles that I'm familiar with. Same here with the six, although that is gorgeous. I mean, the artwork's beautiful. Um, I'm having to kind of adjust around, you know, our, our, sun, our friend the sunbeam. <clears throat> I mean, this kind of feels a little bit like if we're going to choose something, because there's not like six of these, there's like four, maybe five. You know, this could be, and if I were curating, this could be like, and this would be an obvious choice for an eight of wands, maybe, you know, because of that movement sideways. Um, But how that represents give and take, I don't know. Um, or or of offer receive. It's beautiful art. There's no denying it. This is beautiful. I just don't understand how this is supposed to relate to tarot. Seven is gorgeous. This is what's on the cover um, of the box. But seven of pentacles. I mean, potentially like transformation through climbing, which requires effort. That could work. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, eight of pentacles. All right, this, see, this is a little bit more possibly, um, Maybe it's just, it's a stretch. All of it's a stretch. All right. Nine. I have no idea what we're looking at. Okay. We've got a fay poking its head out of like a mountain or rock face and some kind of a bird coming up with a message. And that's a little clearer for us. Um, Definitely not. Yeah, the sun's moving. Can you see? I'm having to keep adjusting till we can look at the. Let's see. I'll move back a little. It might help. There we go. Um, yeah, no idea. All right. Ten of, and again, I mean, how is this different? <sighs> Just, it's not even ten fruits. Um, where's our ten of, here it is. I mean, one is the Ten of Cups, one is the Ten of Pentacles. And, you know, neither of these speaks to that. And it, and it looks to me like this one is just a close-up of something that came from another similar painting. You know, of oranges or fruit. I just don't... Come on. I, I'm... Yeah... I'm someone that's really open to new interpretations of tarot as well, but this is not, this is not it. And I really have a good sense. So I guess this is our page. Okay. Looks kind of older. This page of pence looks older somehow. Maybe it's the slouch, the weight, the lack of musculature. on the night writing some kind of a bug which is kind of fun queen oops oh she's sitting on a caterpillar but here it's a tree 
I'm so confused. Okay, this is a rock with a tree. And then she's holding a rock and looking at it beautifully and nurturingly, which is wonderful. Um, this is landscape. This is a caterpillar. <sighs> okay, King of Pence. Very handsome chap. Oh. That's wonderful as, as an ace of wands. Wonderful. And the fire salamander. That's excellent. I love that that's an owl so much. And I do not understand how an owl in flight with a tree in the background is the two of wands. But you can't deny how beautiful the art is. I mean, it's stunning. Is that a fox? It looks like a fox, maybe, with the little head and the bushy tail looking at the night sky. That could be that could work for three of wands. I can see that. Okay, four of wands. Okay, yeah, I mean that's kinda. Five, yes. Alright. There's a big fight there with the with sticks. I'll buy it. Six of Wands. That looks more like an escape from something than a victorious return to something. And there's two of them on the back of this salamander. And this is totally different. <laughs> They're looking up. The angle is different. The perspective's different. She's clearly a bride. They're clearly writing. I mean, that's much more Six of Wands except for the wedding part. But, okay, I can see she's maybe wearing a bridal dress here, but that doesn't look. This is elopement. <laughs> okay. This is a public ceremony, uh, leaving a public ceremony that went well. You know what I mean? Oh, geez. All right. Seven of Wands. I really, I don't get it, but okay. Eight of Wands. <sighs> Whatever. Nine of Wands. Well, that's interesting. That's a little, that fox looks like it's being cowed and that bird is, I mean, yeah, I could see that. There's some burden there. There's some burden. Um, makes more sense than a lot of the other ones. Ten of wands. Uh, yeah, that's not great. That would work for me. That's, that works. That works. Except it's, I don't, it's almost a death card. I'm wondering if this is a dead tortoise. With all of this stuff growing out of its shell. I don't know. It doesn't... I just don't understand. I can't tell what I'm looking... I mean, because, yeah, I don't... I mean... Okay. Page of Wands. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm just kind of lost. I don't really get it. All right. Um, Knight of Wands is sitting on a salamander and um, not going anywhere, holding the sal salamander down. I don't, or, or a, a, I, anyway, doesn't make, that's, makes no sense. Okay. Queen of Wands makes a little more sense. King of Wands, all right. Let's see if I can move forward. Yeah, there we go. And avoid the sunbeam. So the Ace of of Swords. That's a beautiful painting.
This bug looks n not a lot like the other one. Its proportions are totally different. I don't, yeah. I... Two of Swords. Yeah, maybe. There's, I mean, that's a sword and that's a, a spear. Um, and I can now see the spearhead on this side. And there's contemplation rather than motion. I mean, I, I would buy that. I would buy that. Three of swords. Actually, that does make a lot of sense. That's a brilliant just so uneven. Yeah, I would buy that as a three of swords. I've seen this energetically on people before, um, where the mind is so scattered and fractured. Um, Wow, that's a really interesting... I mean, she's turned the other way. She's not facing us. You know, this is a different... And then, she, yeah, these two are flipped because she's face... I mean, yeah, they're, they're different. They're different. They're not the same. I just don't buy that any of this was created intentionally. Um, yeah. Of the tarot deck. Okay. Four of swords. Potentially, yes. Yep. If we're looking at RWS, this could potentially work. You know, we have this sort of like grave site and white doves. I, I would buy that. Um... I don't even know, aside from the porcupine, I really don't know what we're looking at. Six of swords. Okay, there's water. I mean, maybe from like a spacious tarot type of perspective, I could see that. You know, again, we're, you know, we're operating in, in the space of, you know, Rider Waite Smith and I mean, maybe I could... You know, maybe. Seven. That's interesting. I mean, hmm, that's interesting. As a possible interpretation. <clears throat> um, if he, you know, that tail suggests something, and it's behind her back, it suggests something that's deceptive. Um, he could be messing with her mind to trick her into romance. Um, when really he intends, to, that looks almost like a stinger on the end of his tail. What does the back look like? Yeah. And see, this one was clearly drawn, to me, there's, there's some that are drawn from the actual picture, or from the painting. And then others that are clearly not. And this one is. But it's, that's interesting. I could buy that as a seven of swords for sure. Yeah. And see, that's the thing that's annoying, is that that would actually be a really clever interpretation. Eight of swords, I could buy that too. You know, she's trapped by something that's more energetic and maybe mental a mental formation that's being represented in physical space. I would buy that. Not the same picture, but, you know, very close. I mean, I'd buy that. Nine, absolutely. That's almost a direct, you know what I mean? That's almost, it's actually brilliant. Yeah, if we're looking at a, at a, a purely writer weight smith based concept here, that's brilliant. So is that. 
a spider that's about to be overcome and overwhelmed and eaten by eaten alive by ants. I mean, that's genius for a ten of swords. <laughs> really genius, you know. So what the what the hell, you know? What's going on? I mean, that's brilliant. Okay, that works for me for a page, except it's almost a night. And again, we're in the realm of humans. Back to Faye for our, our night, but God, that's great. That's a beautiful night. There's just so much inconsistency here, and that really bugs me. No, no pun intended. Um, yeah, gosh, that's brilliant. And so this was clearly drawn... This one looks like it was intentionally drawn to match this. Queen of Swords. Boy, I don't know. That's a very limited perspective of a Queen of Swords. Very, very, very limited. Um, yeah. Perfect queen, uh, king of swords, that works. So there we go. I mean, this is a very irritating, um, <laughs> you know, there's so many things in here that could work so brilliantly. You know, the concept of having it be color on one side and then these gorgeous black and white you know, painting drawings on the back, and they're clearly done at different times, you know, under different circumstances for different purposes, but they are all black and white, at least consistently. Some, I think we're using different media. Some of it's clearly brushwork, some is pen. Um, some is mixed, it looks like. Yeah. Some looks like charcoal. But, you know, mixing that with the paintings is just brilliant. Some of the paintings are just exquisite. The texture comes through the, the actual, you know, you can see all of this beautiful texture in there from the paint and the strokes. Um, like this one, that would be exquisite up close. So would this. Um, <clears throat> and then conceptually, some of it is genius and some of it is the laziest excuse for a concept that I think I've ever seen. And that really bothers me a lot. Um... You know, that, I just don't understand that. That's just not an, that's not an Eight of Cups that I can, I mean, if, if it were an Oracle card by itself, yeah, okay, maybe. Um, possibly this Nine could work. As a nine of cups, uh, this makes no sense to me. I mean, maybe a little as a dream, dream space, dream world. I didn't think of that. Okay, I'll take that. <sighs> no. <laughs> Possibly. As an, as an interpretation. Um, I clearly mixed up some cards here somehow. Anyway, it's... It's just confusing. I'm confused. So anyway, if you have any thoughts on this, um, I'm curious. I want to hear them. But uh, yeah, I may, I mean, I think I've, I've heard this about Los Scarabeo decks before that, you know, <clears throat> frequently you just don't know what you're going to get in terms of quality and thought. Um, you know, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Cavalier, you know, like mid 1600s to mid 1700s dress. It's actually kind of late 1600s. There's no wig, but it's kind of almost King Charles II, but not as not as expensive and fabulous. Um, not a fop anyway. 
it's I don't know what what the concept was. I'm annoyed that there's not more information about it. I feel like what we have here is an artist that said, wait, I did a lot of work. This could potentially be a tarot deck. I don't know much about tarot, but I'm just going to fit all my stuff in. And where I don't have pen and ink drawings or, you know, brushwork paintings, I will create them. Where I have them already and they're close enough, it's good enough. And there we go. And to me, that is lazy. Um, that is lazy if you're an artist. It's lazy if you're a publisher. And your specialty as a publisher is is creating tarot. That's that's there's no excuse for that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I I will see what I do with it if I work with it, etc. I don't know. Sometimes when I get have a really like strong reaction to a deck when I unbox it and then use it for a while uh, or try some spreads with it, I change my mind. So we'll find out. I can tell already it's going to chip a lot when it's shuffled. We'll see. All right, folks, thanks for bearing with it. <laughs> you don't see me do a negative review very often or a negative, you know, first impressions, but that I, I'm not going to lie. Um, so there we go. There's the tarot of the secret forest for whatever that's worth. All right, folks, I hope you're staying cozy and hanging in there. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.